What is regenerative medicine? We're trying to empower your body to heal on its own so you don't have to take a pill or have to do surgery. Aging is the biggest risk factor for chronic disease. You lose muscle after age 30. It's called stem cell exhaustion. That's one of the hallmarks of aging. So stem cells are like the fix-it guys in your body, right? We were the first people in the world to use gene therapy to reverse aging. Imagine you just put an electrical current through your body and it just manipulates your cells to make you younger. Very simply, it's three things. Cells, signals, and... This is a very ins it's gonna going to be a very insightful educational interview because we have uh, one of the pioneers in the regenerative um, healthcare industry here, and uh, I'm very happy that today we're Dr. Adil Khan, uh, who is a leader in regenerative medicine, and he's the founder of Eterna Health. Eterna Health is a company that is helping people heal and feel younger through regenerative medicine and um, by bringing new ideas to healthcare and using advanced treatments uh, eternal health is helping people understand their new physical potentials uh, dr adil has worked with many world-renowned people like tony robbins zach efron chris hemsworth but Dr. Adil's main passion is to make these advanced treatments available for everyone. And today he's here to help us understand how we can improve the future of the healthcare industry. Dr. Adil, thank you so much for being with us today. Yes, thanks for having me. So regenerative medicine has become a big trend in the healthcare industry. What is regenerative medicine? Yeah, very simply, I like to tell people it's three things cells so like stem cells which we can talk about signals so what are the signals to help your body to heal and scaffolds so scaffolds meaning like a glue or a structure to hold things in place so when you have cells signals and scaffolds you can put them together to heal your body instead of having to cut something out or instead of having to take a pill so that's all it really is. We're trying to empower your body to heal on its own so you don't have to take a pill or have to do surgery Oh, wow. And how do you help people improve their health with regenerative medicine? Well, there's so many different ways. So the most common thing is everyone wants to look and feel younger these days, right? Yeah. Longevity is such a hot topic. And so there's all these different things on the market. But at the end of the day, why does our body age? It ages because we accumulate damage, right? Our, our mitochondria, which are like these powerhouses inside of our cells, they don't work as efficiently. So how do we repair them? It's stem cells. So stem cells are like the fix-it guys in your body, right? Think of them as like the carpenter when things break down. And when things are breaking down and not working as well, your carpenters have to go overtime. And when those carpenters go overtime, just like if you make a carpenter work all the time, he's going to get tired and he's going to go on strike eventually and he's not going to want to do his job. So that's what kind of happens. It's called stem cell exhaustion. That's one of the hallmarks of aging. So now we have these engineered stem cells. It's a Japanese technology, actually. And we can use them and we can put them in your face. We can put them in your I IV, like throughout your whole body. We can put them in your hair. We can put them in your knees. We can put them all throughout your body for so many different conditions to help actually repair the body. And we're giving you the raw building blocks. We're giving you the more carpenters to fix the problem. So does that mean that aging happens due to the exhaustion of our stem cells? That is one of the biggest reasons, yes. Wow. And uh, using stem cells for anti-aging and cosmetic stuff, how is that different from Botox and fillers and all the other? Yes. I actually had a very, yeah, we, we've done this, talked about this a lot because I think Botox and fillers are starting to fall out of favor. The reason people like, you know, like Chris Hemsworth or a lot of these celebrities are coming to me is because they want a natural solution. And a lot of their, obviously a lot of the Hollywood people now are looking into this because Botox at the end of the day is just a toxin. It's just paralyzing your muscle, right? And what happens is your muscles become weaker over time. And then it's, it's kind of like, we always say Botox is like a cult. Once you're in it, you can't get out right. because if you get out, your muscles will start sagging and, th and then it can actually cause atrophy. Whereas the stem cells, especially these mu stem cells, which are the Japanese ones, they actually help to rebuild collagen they actually help to reduce inflammation at a cellular level and they can actually regenerate new skin cells so it's actually targeting the underlying cause so that's why people love it for cosmetics wow 
So stem cell therapy can really help us get out of the Botox cult. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, well, <laughs> good to know. Um, this might be a difficult question for you to answer, but what do you think differentiates you from all the other stem cell or regenerative medicine doctors out there? Because um, in the elite society of Los Angeles, all the athletes, a lot of Olympians that I wish I could name, they all pick you as their doctor. Mm -hmm. Why do you think they pick you? It's because I was the first in the world to combine the three things that we were talking about, the cells, which are, we're using unique Japanese stem cells, the mu stem cells. And these stem cells are unique because they survive in the body and they're pluripotent, which means they can actually regenerate new tissue, but they don't cause cancer. So these are the only pluripotent stem cells in the world that don't cause cancer. And I was the first doctor in the world to really talk about it. So I kind of got lucky, I guess, in the right place, right time. And then also we were the first people in the world to use gene therapy to reverse aging as well. And that's what Dave Asprey did. And, you know, Vision's going to be doing that with me as well. And a lot of people are interested in that. And it's, it's, a, it's called follostatin, which helps with muscle and helps with energy and strength. And we were, I was the first doctor to talk about that too. So I guess I was kind of the first to talk about a lot of new technologies and finding the right scientists and putting it all together. How does gene therapy work for anti-aging? So this is a peptide gene therapy. So peptides are amino acids in your body. They're, your body naturally makes them, right? And as you get older, your peptides decrease. There's different types of peptides. There's copper peptide for skin. There's ozempic, which is a very popular peptide for fat loss, right? Insulin is a peptide. So there's so many different peptides. But folostatin is a peptide that helps with strength. And it inhibits an enzyme called myostatin. And myostatin sets a limit on how much muscle you can put on. So the higher your follostatin, the lower your myostatin. So basically it's like, okay, I have more follostatin, I can put on muscle easier, which is a big problem as you age. You lose muscle after age 30, you just, it's a natural process. So follostatin gene therapy, it increases your follostatin levels back to a youthful level. With one injection, it lasts for about a year and it tells your own body to make more follostatin. So that's why it's a gene therapy because we're using what's called a vector to introduce a follostatin gene into your cell. And so your body makes more of it. Oh, I see. I see. So a new signal is being communicated to our cells. Exactly. So we're basically fine discovering new ways to communicate with our body. Exactly. Understood. Um, what is your vision for the future of regenerative medicine? And how do you think it's going to transform the healthcare industry? Well, right now, the biggest problem is aging because we have an aging society, right? People and with aging comes more chronic diseases. You have more osteoarthritis, degenerative conditions. So this is going to revolutionize medicine because it's treating the underlying cause of aging. Like we talked about, why are people, why do people get more disease as they get older? It's because their bodies don't work as efficiently. It's because the mitochondria, the stem cells are exhausted. And these stem cells, that, especially these mu stem cells, they can replace damaged mitochondria. You're giving your, guy, you're giving your body more of these workers to fix as it fixed damaged cells. So essentially what we're doing is we're actually restoring your body at a cellular level. And so it's not just treating one disease, it's treating hundreds of diseases. And that's what people are, that's why it's so exciting because aging is the biggest risk factor for chronic disease. And I think in the future, we're gonna have more precise intervention. So for example, there's a big, there's a big push in this field called quantum biology. Whenever people hear the word quantum, they're, you know, they think physics, right? And then they get, so they get overwhelmed by it. But quantum is just a word to, to talk about how tiny particles work. And because of how tiny particles work is very different from how the physical world works. And so now we can, we can understand that at a quantum level. There's something called quantum biology. And you can actually, they're starting to do research on that. And eventually there's going to be these interventions. Imagine you just put an electrical current through your body and it just manipulates your cells to make you younger. Or like there's, there's things like that being worked on, like bioelectricity and quantum biology. Wow. So my take from this incredible uh, session was that for centuries and centuries, we couldn't find a way to communicate with our own bodies and our own cells. And we suppressed our own body. We suppressed our own cells with uh, pharmaceuticals, pharmaceuticals yeah. medicines. And now, due to all the incredible technologies that Dr. Adil was talking about and sci amazing scientists like you, amazing medical doctors like you are working on, we are finding new ways to communicate with our cells the same way that we communicate to one another. And guess what? Communication can solve everything. The same way that it can com uh, communication can solve all 
interpersonal interactions between a human to human, having a healthy communication with ourselves through advanced treatments can help us stay young and beautiful and healthy forever. Exactly. That's so, a perfect way to put it. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. Check out Eterna Clinic to learn how to communicate with your own cells. Thank you so much, Dr. Yeah, thanks for having me. Of yeah. course, my pleasure. Yeah.